you are hello friends good morning it's the first thursday of the month and it's i don't know 9 30 right now between 9 and 11 only here's our new banner we're very excited we are here at the um, community recycling center which is open from 9 to 11 on the first thursday and we want you to know it's a nonprofit volunteer organization and that's how we're supported. But our Yay. goal is to protect Baja's lands and marine environment through youth and adult education, which of course incorporates us doing all of this recycling because this is the problem as we know. Millions and millions of tons of plastics going into our seas and oceans, getting into our fish, and we are trying to stop that. So friends, Rinse, clean, crush, and sort by groups, three groups, it's super easy. Clear, totally clear. It can have a color in it. If you can see through it, it's still clear. And then color, that kind of more hard color plastics, and milky, like a milk bottle. Um, metals, friends, we're being challenged by our, our um, repository to get a little bit swifter with separating aluminum cans and tin and metal. And so, oh, here we go. Yes, thank you, Val. Um, hard plastics color clear. It's got a little bit of color, but this is still clear. Hey, get a taupe, get a um, soda stream so we can stop using Topo Chico bottles. Anyway, cardboard, everybody's doing so well with cardboard. We need to break them down, wrap them up. We're going to show you an example of that. The um, It's called EPS, but it's extended, expanded polystyrene. This is what we built our house out of 10 years ago. Our value 48 amazing ef block we collected here here this is the most amazing consumer use now friends we don't really need um this stuff i don't see any but we're not going to be taking um let's go down here to the no um no cereal boxes baking boxes paperboard paperboard is what your cereal boxes come from thank you val very much um and we don't really need that. Most of that is already made from post-consumer recyclables and it's gonna biodegrade in our environment very fast. And it's a lot for us to manage. We, we're we gonna focus on some other stuff. So do, um, you can bring us your packaging bags. Like you go to Costco, there's those bags and all of that stuff that comes together. But do keep in mind a few years ago, our organization helped to pass the, ah, see, here's Val again. This is paperboard. We don't really need this. This this stuff is gonna biodegrade and quickly. We're, we we want to focus our efforts. Be careful because we, we helped to pass the fifth state in the country, one of the most environmentally solid laws about no bags, um, single serve plastic bottles, along those lines. And a lot of stuff now, takeaway containers, a lot of those are now, um, biodegradable. Yes, there's a little bit of a debate about how long it takes to biodegrade, but that's what it is. So we don't want to put biodegradables in with recyclables. Sadly, this is Tetra Pak. This is why you can come to Mexico and you have boxed milk, but these are not recyclable. Sadly, these go in trash, but the plastic pops off boop, right off the top. That can go in the recyclable. Um, those manufacturers are working to try and make that material recyclable or much faster biodegradable. So we're imagining a green earth, imagina un mundo verde, and, um, oh, thank you, Val is just amazing. Look at this, I don't know, I've never seen a Pacifico cam here in Baja, have you? Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Pacifico, very popular um, drink here, cold drink. So this is the perfect crush, look at this, perfect crush. If at home you can't get your metals crushed, we have a little, um, sledgehammer that you can do once you get here. So um, keep that coming. Thank you very much. And we're grateful for your love of our precious environment.